In this video, I want to have a look at problems that involve volume, but in these questions, we're going to be told what the volume is, and we're going to have to work backwards to figure out some of, or one of the dimensions of that solid. So let's have a look at an example. So our first question says a cylinder has a volume of 408.4 centimetres cubed and a diameter of 6 centimetres. We want to find the height of the cylinder correct to one decimal place. So what we always should start with is writing down the formula. So we know that the formula for the volume of a cylinder is V equals uh, pi r squared h. And then we can go through and fill in what we know. So we know that the volume is 408.4. And then we've got pi. Now we're not told the radius directly, but we are told that the diameter is 6 centimetres, which would mean that the radius would have to be 3. So we can write 3 squared. And then times the height, which is what we're trying to find. So now we need to rearrange this whole equation to figure out what h is. Now when you're solving equations, to get that h on its own, at the moment the h is multiplied by all of this. So what we're going to do is divide both sides of the equation by that pi times 3 squared. So we're going to end up with 408.4 divided by that pi times 3 squared. That's going to be equal to h. And then we can pop that in our calculator, so we'll end up with h equals, and if we round it off to one decimal place, it's going to be 14.4 centimetres. So our cylinder has a height of 14.4. Our second example tells us that a square pyramid has a volume of 34 centimetres cubed and a base side length of 5 centimetres. We're asked to find the perpendicular height of the pyramid, or well, the height, but it means perpendicular height. Okay, so starting with the formula again, we know that for a pyramid, the volume is a third times the area of the base times the height. So the volume for us is 34. So that's going to be equal to a third times. Now the area of the base, because it's a square pyramid and the square has side length of 5 centimetres, that's going to be 5 squared times h. Now again, there's two ways you can write this. One is to divide both sides by this whole section here. So we could write it as 34 over 1 third times 5 squared equals h. Or what we could do, we could do it in two steps. To get rid of that 1 third, we could times by 3. So we could have 34 times 3 would be equal to 5 squared times h. And then we could divide by that 5 squared. So we'd have 34 times 3 divided by 5 squared is equal to h. It actually doesn't matter which way you do it. Either way, you're going to end up with h being equal to 4.08. Um, and that's in centimetres. So it's up to you which way you rearrange it. It's whichever way makes more sense to you. Our last example says that a cone has a volume of 512.6 centimetres cubed and a height of 10 centimetres. We're asked to find the length of the radius correct to three decimal places. So if we start off by writing down the formula, we're going to have volume is equal to a third times pi times the radius squared times the height. And then we can go through and, through and fill in everything that we know. So we've got that 512.6 for the volume. That's going to be a third times pi times the radius squared times the height, which was 10. So we need to rearrange this first to get the r squared on its own. And then we can just get r on its own. So again, there's a couple of different steps you could do, um, different ways you could approach it. I'm going to multiply by 3 first. So I'd have 512.6 times 3, and that'll get rid of that third. And then I'm just going to rearrange these ones as well. So I'm going to write 10 times pi here, times r squared. So multiplying by 3 got rid of that third, and then I've just rearranged these to get these two bits on their own. So now I can divide by the 10 and the pi. So I'm going to have... 512.6 times 3 divided by 10 times pi, and that's going to give me r squared. So if we pop that in our calculator, r squared would be about 48.9496, and the number keeps going. Keep that whole number in your calculator, and then we're going to take the square root of it. So we'd have r is equal to the square root of 48. 0.9496 and so on. And if we round that off, it asks to correct to three decimal places, that's going to give us 6.996 centimetres, and that's to 3dp. 
So that's having a look at volume problems that involve us working backwards to find one of the dimensions.